Hey guys, I am back with another video and this is going to be the look that we are doing today. I hope you guys enjoy. I thought I filmed the intro, but I think I lost the clip. But yeah, let's hop into this look. Okay, so let's hop into this makeup look. So first I'm gonna go in with a eyeshadow base. I believe this is one of the ones from the Juvia's Place. All the products that I do use will be listed down in the description box if you are interested. Um, and I'm going with a eyeshadow base just to kind of mute out that area. And I'm gonna be using some pretty um, vibrant colors. So I wanted a nice like white kind of beigey base. Um, next, I'm going to go in and prime my face. I just actually just do this because I like my primer to sit on my face before I even get to it. So I usually apply it um, before I start applying my foundation. So I just apply that so that while I'm doing my eye makeup, it's like getting into my skin and just working out really good. Next, I'm going in with this kind of brick color shade. I'm going to be using this as my transition shade and I'm just packing on very, very thick and kind of messily and then I'm going in with a slightly deeper kind of like a brownish shade to blend it all out just so that it's nice and seamless and if you notice one of my eyes I didn't apply the color high enough so I'm gonna go back in and kind of apply some more and bring it up a little bit more because I do want this color to still show up once I start applying the rest of my eyeshadow and I'm just going back and forth just to blend it out and Make sure it looks nice and seamless and even. Next, I'm going in with this kind of deep hunter forest green shade and I'm applying that to the outer corner. Just working that in, just kind of creating the shape again, kind of messily until I really start building it up. Um, and then once I get kind of detailed with it in the vision that I'm going with, then I kind of go in and kind of fine tune it. So I just kind of apply that dark green shade and just a little heavier and then I went in with like a slightly lighter green shade. This is the Juvia's Place, like one of their like quads, it's the green one. Again, everything will be listed down below. Um, and I just take the lighter green that's in that shade, but it's a matte green and just apply it kind of in that inner third kind of portion, like blending it into that very dark green. And I'm just going back in with a slightly clean brush. I didn't add any product um, and just kind of blend it um, so that it's nice and seamless. Now I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more of that eyeshadow base just to not really cut my crease, but I'm like cutting my crease, but it's not gonna stay cut. Um, I'm just kind of going back in so that way, you know, some of that was kind of lost through the blending. Um, so I'm going back in just to create the space for the actual like satin metallic color that I'm going to be using um, just to give it a nice, you know, nice light base so that it shows up really, really nice. And I'm just going in and then I'm going to be blending that same like medium toned green shade into the edges just so that it's not like very like, harsh and cut. And that's what you see me kind of doing now, just kind of placing that shade and even using my brush now to kind of blend it so it's not, you can see on the eye, it's not that harsh. And then you'll see me going in here with this, that same green that I was using, that medium shade green, and just blending the edges out on that primer so see it's not like so just like harsh on the end. So just going back in and doing that. Next, I'm going to go in with this pretty green shade. This is from that same palette from Juvia's Base. Again, I'll have it linked in the description box. And I'm just going to apply that to the inner half of my eye. This shade is so pretty. I love this shade. I haven't done a green look in like years, I'm going to say. Um, but I use my finger to apply it. And then I go back in with kind of like a very small detail brush just to get right up to the edge where... I had applied that eyeshadow base um, and just to make sure the color is nice and seamless and then I go in with kind of like a smaller brush just to blend out the edges 
um, like I like the shade. Oh, the shade was so bomb. I love the shade. And this shadow, it just worked best when I applied it with my finger. Um, it may, it, I don't know. It, it just worked best. So that's, that's why I use my finger. I, I, I actually kind of wish I would apply some glitter glue as well and then applied it. They probably would have made it pop even more, but I, I didn't think to do that at the time. And then next I'm going in with kind of like a skin tone shade just to blend out my um, brow bone. And then I'm going in with my liquid, liquid liner to wink out my outer V. This is part of the reason why I put the tape because it just saves me the hassle. Um, work smarter, not harder, guys, okay? Um, so that's what I'm doing, doing my wing liner. I think this is the Beauty Big Wing one, the Lollipop liner, which is one of my favorites. Now we're moving on to the complexion. I'm going with the Juvia's Place shade stick and just contouring just applying i'm kind of blowing them with like a pretty heavy contour um i also i didn't do it in this video i kind of wished i would have color corrected under like on my upper lip i wish i would have did that but i didn't but if you're recreating this look and you kind of have like kind of dark shadows and things like that like under your eye or above your lip just color correct i was being lazy because i wasn't actually going anywhere but i kind of wish i i did but it still came out pretty um, I'm using my Matte Pro Longwear Concealer to highlight. I think it's in NW40. But I'm going in and blending out my contour. Um, this is the shade Congo from Juvia's Place. Their shade six. I think it's the darkest one they have. Um, I don't always use this one because it's a little dark, but I was kind of over exaggerating um, this look. Or what I was kind of going for so kind of went in like a little darker concert than I usually would but I do like it so I'm just blending it out kind of very not loosely but just getting rid of some of the edges and then I'm gonna go in and blend out my concealer now normally I would use my sponge but I've been liking using a brush again I don't know if you guys have done that in a while I don't know if you remember back back in the day like always used to use like these little pointy brushes to blend out their concealer especially in their eyes before like beauty blenders became like a big thing um I i've been liking going back to them even like not even a brush like this like even a more pointed more dense brush i like it but yeah now i'm going in with um my foundation i believe this is the estee lauder double wear foundation in sandalwood love this foundation this foundation is the bomb if you want like full coverage this is it this is and like doesn't move i love this foundation again this is the foundation i wore to my wedding and it, i i tried a few foundations before i picked one for my wedding and this one just kept kept winning so it's the bomb the shade is a perfect match for me love it so good and i'm using a sponge just to blend it out could have used i should have or you could use a brush to blend it out to get like a fuller coverage but i didn't do that again i wasn't going anywhere so next i'm going in with my setting powder underneath my eyes this is the venti honey um pro filter powder and i love this sponge from beauty blender i've i've been loving sponges like these to set my under eye but particularly this is blender like pocket one you can get a generic one too off of amazon it works just the same but i like the pocket ones because it doesn't get my fingers dirty um so i do like it and it's really really so soft this beauty blender one is so so soft i love it but it's 15 dollars, so probably get like a pack off of amazon that they do have pocket ones i haven't gotten them but i feel like they work just the same i have the ones where you like just slip your finger on that works just as well, but my fingers get dirty when I do that. But I love these pocket ones from the Beauty Blender, so good. Now I'm going in with my mineralized skin finish. I believe this is dark deepest or deepest dark. I always get them confused. Whichever one's the lighter one, I'm using that one to blend out my highlight. Again, all the products that I use again will be listed down in the description box. I'm using that to. Um, brush away all the excess powder. I find doing this really helps um, 
keep my under eyes from creasing when I set with like a loose powder and then also brush it away with like a pressed or some sort of like dense powder. So I find that that helps, so that's what I used. Next I'm going in with my mascara. I forget which one this is. I believe this is the Maybelline Sky High um, mascara. I'm going in with that and then I'm going with another one. I think it's called Be Active. I will have a link down below. I'm just applying those honestly because I just didn't feel like applying any lashes. So that's why I'm applying mascara, which is what I usually do. You guys know, I know I've been in my age, but ain't much change. <laughs> okay, I don't, I don't, I like lashes, but putting them on in a video, it's just, it's annoying. So I just don't do it. Next, I'm gonna line my waterline. Of course, this is the Urban Decay 24-7 liner in version. I haven't used this pencil in a very long time. This used to be one of my go-to. Like, Urban Decay 24-7 pencils used to be my go-to. You guys have no idea. Like, if you've been with me for a long time, you know I used to rock with Urban Decay, especially their pencils. Um, but I haven't used this one in a while, and I needed a new one, and I went back to this one. Really good. It's probably one of the darkest blacks in a pencil that I own. That is that stays put. Next, I'm gonna kind of take some of the shades that I use on my eyes and just blend that underneath my waterline, like that brick color. I'm gonna apply that underneath. Um, I'm also gonna apply the dark green as well underneath. They're just to tie the look all together. I always like doing that. Now I'm gonna go in with my inner tear duct highlight, which is like my favorite thing to do. It's like the moment where I'm like, okay, this looks makes sense. I literally do all of this and literally don't think it makes sense until I apply my inner tear duct highlight. So, looks good. I wanted a little bit of gold, so I went in with a different gold shade in my inner tear duct. And then I'm gonna go in kind of like contour bronze, I like to call it, cause I'm not, I'm like, it's already contoured, but I'm kind of bronzing my skin as well. Just cause I want to be a little warm for the dimension. You know, something I've, I've like just started like doing, cause I've just figured out the shades that, not just started doing, but like really started having products that I'm like, okay, this makes sense. Um, then I go with some blush, I believe this is from the Sahara Volume 1 blush palette from Cheapest Place on my cheeks. And I'm just gonna set my face with my MAC Winter Life Skin Finish. Again, it's either deepest dark or darkest or dark deepest. Whichever one the darker one is, that's what I use. Then I'm gonna line my lips with this chocolate liner from NYX. I believe this one is espresso, but I went back over it with the one from Juvie's Place, I think it's called Koala. I'm going go with that and line my lips, and then I'm gonna apply a kind of nice deep 4C brown shade as my lip color which I love this color I I've, I've worn it a few times and I actually really, really like it all so I'm gonna go in and line my lips this is one of the Juvia's Place ones I don't remember the name of the shade but I'll have it linked down below but I love these these are matte but they're super comfortable on the lips so I love it and then I go in with a slightly lighter not slightly this is a few shades lighter it's kind of like a pinkish nude um, and I'm just applying that to the center, just to give my lips a little dimension, just so it's not, you know, flat. Which is okay, but I wanted to do something different. I don't usually do this, so. Doing it, and I just, you know, wiped off the excess <laughs> with my finger. But that is it for the look, guys. I believe I just sprayed my setting spray, blend it out with my sponge, and that's the look. I threw on my little head wrap, because they went with the look, and my gold bamboo earrings that I found in a stash from a party I went to a while ago and that's the look guys I felt so pretty this day I absolutely love this look I love how it turned out I'm kind of mad I didn't go out and take like some real pictures I mean I took like selfies and stuff but yeah that's the look and yeah I will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching and I am glad to be